He says his name is Patrick James Hamis and he's coming from Tanzania. So tell us, brother, what was the prophecy that you received last week here in the Synagogue Church of All Nations? Tunaomba utuambie unabii ulio upata wiki ulio pita katika kanisa hili. Unabii nilio upata nime niliitwa na father kaniambia we njo kamkamika nikawa najificha akarudia tena njo nikajificha nikamwambia mwanzangu we unasemeshwa wewe akaniambia no father kaniambia you nilipomfuata akaniambia mimi nina roho kiume ambayo yuko ndani yangu he says that last week when he was in the service the man of god called him out and he pointed to him he said you come to me then what he said is that he started telling his neighbor that hey the man of god is speaking to you why don't you stand up without knowing that the man of god was referring to him so at the end of the day the man of god said no it's not the other person but it's you so that's when he stood up and went to the man of god kwa hiyo tunaomba utuambie baada ya kusimama na kuanza kumsogelea mtu wa mungu kitu gani kilikutokea kile kitu kikaanza kuninyonga kunikaba kama mshale hapa na hapa kaanza kuninyonga kikaninyonga nikawa nashindwa hata ku, ku, kusema hata ile kusali kidogo nikawa nanyonga sana so he says that when the man of god uh, pointed out to him he said that he has a spirit of man and immediately started moving to the man of god that's when he started feeling something poking in his chest and also something started to hook his neck na Tunaomba utuambie baada kile kitu kukunyonga ulipokuwa unamsogelea mtu wa Mungu je kitu gani kiliendelea kutokea Mchungaji Emmanuel alivoniombea alivozidi kuniombea kika ndio kika kikaniachia He says that when he went to the man of God the man of God uh, stretched his hand and prayed on, prayed for him immediately the man of God prayed for him in the name of Jesus Christ that's when the thing which was hooking him left him immediately Well, glory be to God Almighty. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So right now brother, can you please tell us how can you confirm that word of prophecy to be true for your life? Tunaomba utuambie je, unatupa uhakika gani kwamba neno lolo lipata kutoka kwa mtu wa Mungu ni la ukweli katika maisha yako? Ni ukweli kabisa maana yake nilikuwa na miaka kumi, niko shule darasa la 4. Mko baba wa jirani hapo alivyokuwa hapo jirani akaniita, akanidanganyia chipsi na ma na ma, na biskuti na vitu vidogo vidogo baadaye akanifanya kwa nguvu He says that it's true what the man of God told him because in his life ever since he was a young child at 10 years old a man met him and he forced himself to him by enticing him with sweets and things like those when he was coming from school that's the, that's when the man forced himself to him and started to sleep with him So from there he started having the urge for men. Kuanzia kuanzia siku hiyo Rosa Rosa nikajiona nimeshakuwa mdada ile roho ilivyoingia na lala naona kama vile ni mrembo mzuri kuliko wanawake wote duniani. Alafu sitaki kulala tena na wadada. Napenda kulaka na kulala na wanaume. He says ever since then that he's still emphasizing that he still was feeling the strong urge for men. And he never had the urge for women. He started seeing himself in his dreams as a beautiful, very beautiful woman, and his his attraction was towards men, not women anymore. Nilipo endelea hivyo baadaye nikaja nikaacha na shule. Nikaendelea kwenda nikatoka hapo nikahama Arusha, nikahamia mkoa mwingine Mwanza. Nikaendelea kufanya hiyo kitendo hivyo hivyo ndani ya miaka 15. He says that Since he was 10 years old immediately he started doing all these things of sleeping with men he changed his habits he even stopped school and he had to shift from the region which he was and to another region and that's when he went there and to prolong his habit of sleeping with men nilivoendelea hivyo nikaendelea miaka yangu yote kuwa hivyo paka nikadada mmoja anaitwa Mary akaniuliza utaendelea kufanya hicho kitu paka lini He says that he's been he did this thing for almost 15 years until he met one lady called Mary. That lady was the one who pointed out that and, and told him that why are you doing this habit? 
And for how long are you going to continue doing this habit? Okay, so before you get to that area, brother, can you just explain to us what your lifestyle was like during this period? After that spirit of man entered you right from the age of 10, what were the type of things you, you found yourself doing that you know were not ordinary for you to do as a man? Kwa hiyo kabla hujaendelea, tunaomba utuambie kwamba ile roho ya mwanaume ilipoingia ndani yako, tunaomba utuambie ni vitu gani ulivyokuwa unavifanya ambavyo sio vya kawaida mwanaume kuvifanya ambavyo ulikuwa unaviendeleza katika jamii na jinsi gani ulikuwa unajionyesha ambapo mtu akikuona anajua kabisa huyu mtu sio mwanaume wa kawaida nilikuwa natumia cream kwa hali cream za bei gali nilikuwa napaka lip shine nilikuwa najipaka wanja nilikuwa na nikiingia sehemu lazima niringe kama vile mdada kabisa mimi si plani na ringa He says that he used to put cream on his face, he used to bleach himself, put lipstick, even when he's walking, he'll be walking like a lady. Whenever he's anywhere, you'll think that the lady is sitting there, not a man. And he'll be uh, patrolling himself, catwalking in front of people as if he's a lady. Nikaendelea kuwa kama vile mdada ambao sijielewi ni kama vile spendi wanaume kabisa wanawake tena kabisa he says that he continued being like a lady wearing tight clothes and at the end of the day he didn't love women anymore he's just to be forcing himself on men nilivyoendelea kuwa hivyo nikatoka hapo nikaanza kutembea na wanaume mbalimbali kona zote nikifika da natembea na wanaume nikienda Mwanza Arusha natembea na na wanaume He says he started shifting from different regions of the country going from one region to the other he now started developing in the habit of sleeping with men big big men he used to sleep with men who are working in the government people who have honors and that's when uh, he continued developing to such, to such an extent that he became uh, a, like a professional in what he's doing okay now you said initially at the age of 10 you began seeing yourself in the dream as a woman can you just explain more about those dreams that you were having right from that initial time when a man raped you at the age of 10 how would did these dreams continue tunaomba utuambie aina za ndoto ambazo ulikuwa unaziona kuanzia wakati ule ulipokuwa na miaka 10 ulipokuwa ukilala ulikuwa unaota vitu gani wakati ulipokuwa katika muda huu nilikuwa naota mdada mmoja ni mzuri mrembo kuliko wanawake wote hamna mwanamke mrembo kama mimi He says that he used to dream and see himself as the most beautiful and imaginable uh, gorgeous lady he is in the dream and uh, whenever he sees himself he's like this um, very uh, unimaginable beauty nikaendelea kuota hivyo hivyo na naota naendelea kutenda naota naendelea kufanya hivyo vitu bado naendelea nikifika sehemu wanaume wengine wakinitongoza wachafu siwataki kwa sababu mimi najiona ni mdada mrembo sana he says that the more he dreamt of being this lady the more he got deeper in doing these actions and he even saw himself as this like, like a queen a very honorable queen so even if uh, lit, uh, like poor people approached him poor men when poor men approached him to sleep with him he had no interest on in them because he felt as he, he uh, he's worthy of sleeping with big big men because in the dream he used to see himself as a big queen well so we can understand exactly what the man of god said when he said spirits of man how this evil spirit entered our brother right from that tender age of 10 years old now tell us how did you find yourself to be here in the synagogue church of all nations Tunaomba utuambie je, ilikuwaaje mpaka ukafikia hapa kanisani? Nilikutana na dada mmoja anaitwa Mary. Mary akanambia kwa nini unafanya hicho kitu ambacho akimpendezi Mungu? Kwa nini usibadilike? Ombo ujitahidi kufungulia TV na TV yako, fungulia Emmanuel TV. Huo unaangalia, uiacha hata usiku kucha. Huo una unaisikiliza. He says that he met with one lady called Mary. And this lady told him why are you doing this abominable acts you should change your habits and be in a in a masculine way the way god created you 
and the lady advised him to start watching Emmanuel TV, get a decoder and put on the channel so that you'll be watching it. Can you describe for us again what happened in the service? What was going through your mind at that moment when it was the time of prophecy? Tunaomba utuambie katika ibada kitu gani kilikuwa kinaendelea kwenye moyo wako? Akati mtu wa Mungu anatoa unabii, akati anaombea, kitu gani kilikuwa kinaendelea katika moyo wako? Roho ilikuwa inaniuma. Alivondo roho ya kiomba akimaliza ya kiomba mimi nakaa. Nakati nakaa kwenye kiti. Haka akatoka hapo baadaye akaondo akaombea watu wengine kama vile ameondoka alivyoondoka roho yangu ikafurahi sana he says that when the man of god was on the pulpit whenever he's praying or doing prophecy his charisma was very low he, he never felt interested he would just sit down and whenever the man of god would just leave the pulpit and maybe go out for a moment, his spirit will be happy, very happy, whenever the man of God is not in his presence. But immediately the man of God comes to the scene, that's when he starts feeling very agitated and very uninterested in the service. He'll just be sitting down. Alivo Rudy, kwa mara ya pili, ile kitu ndo kikaendelea kuninyonga, kuninyonga kabisa. Hasa Emmanuel ya kiomba, kiangalia upande uwa kwangu, enyudo inazidi kunichoma kama anachoma na mshale. He says immediately the man of God pointed his case out and faced him. That's when the situation got even more worse. He started feeling being strangled, something was poking him, and there was a very big battle. But I Emmanuel Kanambia, you Naminika Nikadificha Nikainama Kwenye Kiti. Nyakarudia tena nikainama kwenye kiti. Nikamambia mwenzangu na semeshwa wewe. Emmanuel Kamambia no. Ndo mimi, nika, ili, Emmanuel ya kaniambia hivi, nika shanga ni meamuka mwenyewe. Kile kitu kinaendelea kuninyonga hapa, paka hapa, kama vile mshale. Kama vile inatanga kuchukua roo yangu. He says that the thing which was hooking him, it was so serious to such an extent that he felt as if his life was going, was coming to an end. And the man of God, immediately the man of God was, was talking to him. He now just started feeling like hiding and even repeated that he told, he told his neighbor that, hey, the man of God is speaking to you, he's not speaking to me, he was tapping his neighbor that the prophecy which the man of God was giving was not referring to him. Kwanzia hapo alivo ni ombea, paka za saibu ini mzima wa afya tele. He says that immediately the man of God talked to him and he prayed for him. He now feels very free and that, uh, that urge uh, is gone and he feels like a normal, healthy human being. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So we just want to be clear, brother, ever since the prophecy last week and the prayer you received in the name of Jesus Christ, how has your life changed? Tunaomba utuambie kuanzia wiki iliyopita ulipopata unabii huu je maisha yako yamebadilika kwa njia gani na sasa hivi unajionaje ni kama vile mwanzoni ulipokuwa na ile hamu ya kuwa na wanaume au sasa hivi kumekuwa na mabadiliko ya ina gani ambayo wewe mwenyewe unayaona kwenye maisha yako sasa hivi nimebadilika sana sasa hivi naweza kumtamani hata mwanamke lakini mwanzoni nilikuwa sina hiyo sasa hivi wanaume siwapendi na wapenda tu kama vile marafiki kubalishana mawazo he says that his life, his life has changed so dramatically. He doesn't have the urge for men anymore. He even has the urge for women. And whenever he, he stays with, uh, with men, he just feels like he's no, he's no more friends who he can share just a word of advice or something like that. But no more urge for men anymore. Tunaomba pia utuambie kwenye maisha ya ndoto zako. Ndoto unaunaje unapokuwa katika ndoto. Vitu gani unaviona na mabadiliko ina gani unayaona. Sasa hivi nikilala kwenye ndoto naona sioti yale mandoto yale ya nyuma. Sasa hivi naota mambo ya Mungu sana. Na nikiona nataka klabu kuota ndoto mbaya na soma Zaburi ya msina moja. He says that his dream life has totally changed. He doesn't see himself doing all those strange things in the past. He just dreams of things which pertain to God, and his, his, even his desire to read the Bible has grown stronger. And whenever he's feeling like a challenge, his heart will just be pointing him to go and read the Bible. He even says that he loves to read 
uh, the psalm which re, the psalm of repentance that's psalm 51 that's what the one which he really loves to do whenever he feels any challenge amen let's put our hands together for jesus christ this is truly the evidence that the spirit of man has completely left our brother's life after that word of prophecy and deliverance in the name of jesus christ and right now brother what is your advice to our viewers all over the world Kwa hiyo kwa muda huu tumeona mabadiliko ambayo yametokea kwenye maisha yako. Je, una ushauri gani kwa watu ambao wanakuangalia dunia nzima katika jambo hili ambalo Mungu amekutendea kwenye maisha yako na pia yale mambo yote uliyopitia kwenye maisha yako? Una ushauri gani kwa watu wote? Hichi kitu ni kibaya sana. Na ninawashauri wenzangu hicho kitu kinawezekana kuacha. Wamtegemee Mungu, wamshirikishe kila maombi wataweza kufanikiwa kama mimi. He says that what he was doing it was very bad and he's also advising his fellows that this thing is possible to abort it's possible to leave it it's possible to be delivered so he should they should just look on to God at the end of the day God will transform their lives and give them a new hope a new life in the in the name of Jesus Christ Amen let's put our hands together for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Indeed, only God Almighty could bring about such a transformation, and we give. Can I help you? Yeah. Can I help you? Yeah. You have that spirit of man. He's a gay. He's confessing he's a gay. No worry. So the name you call him, that is not the name God given to me. So we are not calling that name here. We call spirit of man. He has the spirit of man. Okay. Come on, look here, look here, look here. Take it. Out. 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 Thank you, Lord. Please subscribe and visit my channel to watch many amazing healings that will blow your mind, give you hope, and prepare you for your own healing. Click on the link below to visit my blog where you will learn more about TB Joshua, listen to countless testimonies, and get clear step-by-step -step instructions on how to visit Skoans to get your free and permanent healing with just a touch. And if you don't have the means to visit Skoans, don't worry I will tell you what to do to get your healing in your home. This is free support, I need nothing from you in return. I am just helping. You have nothing to lose, just give it a try and you will be amazed as I was. Let me know if you need any help. I am waiting for your testimony. Please subscribe and visit my channel to watch many amazing healings that will blow your mind, give you hope and prepare you for your own healing.